Welcome to Students, Parents, and School Administration. Thank you for coming to tonight's presentation. There will be virtual cookies and punch served. Welcome to the Inca High School home of the legendary Labradors music program. We are glad that you chose to have music be a part of your life. Music transcends barriers of ethnic backgrounds, economic status, language, and even literacy in its power to reach the depth of the human soul. Whether you choose to pursue music as a career or want to participate in the camaraderie, we know that your time here will leave you with great sense of fulfillment as you gain musical knowledge and lifelong friendships. Let's all enjoy the process of experiencing music together. Here is this year's music staff at Inca High School and their names with their emails. Note the band office phone number 1413625137. And keep in mind that email mail is going to be the main means of communication. And so your students should have already signed up to um, the Inca High School school emailing system. So we will be using that. There are many opportunities for your student to grow as a musician here at Inca High School as being part of the arts and music program here. First one is the concert band. This is primarily designated for incoming new freshman students, but upperclassmen may choose to um, be a part of this ensemble. Students will get a chance to perform a wide variety of band repertoire, such as cultural music, marches, transcriptions, new music. And aside from performing at the end of the semester, the students will have the opportunity to perform at various venues around the community and events, such as art galleries, fundraisers, nursing homes, and the scheduled rehearsal times will be listed in the handbook. The wind symphony, this is for both string players and wind instruments and percussionists. To take part in this ensemble, all students must audition the semester before. The students will have the opportunity to perform a wide variety of high level repertoire Aside from concert at the end of the year each semester, students will also have the opportunity to perform at various community outreach events. And as the same as concert band, uh, the schedule is listed in the handbook. We have an orchestra that your students can take part in that is led by Miss Inca. Aside from the orchestra, your students will also have the opportunity to participate in various small chamber groups. Next, we have your jazz band and jazz combos here. The jazz band will meet two times a week and the combos will meet three times a week. Anybody is welcome to join. You just have to audition. The students will learn the art of performing the many genres of jazz from swing, Dixieland, bebop, fusion, funk, Afro-Cuban, all that good stuff. Uh, they will learn to improvise and compose and will have the opportunity to perform at jazz festivals in various events and venues around town. And then we have Modern Band. This class will meet five times a week and note that Fridays will be a lab day and it starts at the start of the school year. So this, what this, um, this is designed for those that do not play any typical band or stringed instrument, but if your students want to participate in music, they can choose to be a part of Modern Band. No prior knowledge of reading music is necessary. So in this class, uh, your student will learn to perform popular music of today. They will also learn to read lead sheets, basic recording techniques. They're gonna learn how to, uh, the process of what it takes to produce and record an album while learning how to book their own gigs. So the students will have the opportunity to perform at various venues and events around town. Here's a list of the schedule of classes and the times they meet. This is also going to be in your handbook. We all know that music students are generally good students. So I'm just going to put this behavior expectations in here just because it kind of goes without saying, but here we go. Um, just keep in mind uh, the school-wide code of conduct that is in place here at Inca High School and what is expected of you when you are representing the community or whether during class time or during various um, performances and field trips. So there will be disciplinary action taken 
And as part of whatever class you are enrolled in, the disciplinary action will be more in depth and detailed in their syllabus. And it's also a part of your grade. Here's a grading policy and the it's divided up into percentages. So being enrolled in any of our music classes, participation is key. Depending on which class you are in, there may be different grading policies. However, in general, participation is the majority of your grade. Performance attendance. This is a pass fail. So there's no excuse for missed performances unless you have a family emergency such as a death. And if you do become ill, you must bring in a note signed from a doctor. So this is a little bit about the rehearsal and performance expectations. Show up, be on time, before the late bell rings. Um, all students must have two pencils with them at all times. And next one here is the order of each day's activities. Will always, this is always going to be written on the board and uh, via Google Classroom so they can look at that the night before. So during rehearsals, they're... There's really no talking unless, you know, we're having a class discussion so we can all respect and everyone can get their education. Just being respectful of others' opinions as they will be with yours. And on performance days, it is expected that every student arrives at the time they are supposed to show up. And be mindful of concert etiquette whether you are performing or in the audience. This is a safe place, so let's have fun and create music. Let's talk about the travel policies here. When we travel and are out in the community, we are acting as ambassadors for IHS, Music Department. So just remember, keep in mind all your expectations of code of conduct and treating everybody in equipment with respect. Or, you know, as we said, disciplinary action will be taken. So for every outside school performance, run out gigs, field trips, etc., under no circumstances are students allowed to travel on their own or in their own vehicles or even have their parents take them. So this isn't an effort to just to, you know, ensure that all students are accounted for and kept safe. So if you're not able to travel with the rest of the group, you must submit in writing a week in advance before any concert or run out gig that is outside of the school. Here's your required concert wear for each, each ensemble. You can look over this in depth in your handbook and if you have any questions just feel free to email me about it here's the concert wear for jazz and modern band All right, uh, equipment care and rental policies the, you know a lot of this stuff kind of goes without saying but it bears repeating so you know this is your home just treat all your you know everyone's instruments and equipment in the facilities with care no food or drink of any kind in any other rooms or practice rooms you don't want bugs uh, if you must have water always make sure it's tightly closed and set on the floor at all times and there is for students choosing to rent school-owned instruments um, there will be a contract at the end of this at the end of your um, handbook that you can sign and you can do use the QR code to scan that to fill out the contract that will take you to a Google form. If you notice anything that's broken in the recording studio or not working, immediately contact me so I can solve that issue. No, no one else is permitted in the music hallway except for music students. And if you notice an unfamiliar face, just direct them to any of the music staff because you know we want this um, space to be a safe environment for all of our students. All right, so uh, extracurricular ensemble and obligations. If you're enrolled in any of the ensembles, all functions and concerts are mandatory as part of your grade. But students, sometimes they choose to form their own band on the side, which is great. And if you want to use any of the practice facilities, just make sure that two, at least two of the music staff is here so that we can be here and make sure things go smoothly, smooth with that. And um, you can also take part in solo and ensemble. And that's really great because I think it's really important as part of your growth in music. Alrighty, thank you for coming to tonight's meeting. As you notice, there is a QR code that you can scan that will take you directly to the Handbook Band page. 
and the contract for instruments if you want to sign that out and the contract that you need to sign stating that you read and understand all the information and yeah we just look forward to having you as part of our family and our musical family here at Inca High School home of the legendary Labradors. <laughs>